These are two new puzzles from a new puzzle brand called Puzzle Potato. This puzzle is called Philosopher's Stone and this one is Anti-Gravity Device. Both puzzles are escape room in a box type of puzzles and they have quite unusual shape. This puzzle is a triangular pyramid with another triangular pyramid made from acrylic. They use two different materials to build the puzzle. And the Philosopher's Stone, I have no idea how this shape is called, but it has 14 faces. I expect they added something new not only to the design but also to the puzzle. If you want to buy one of these or both puzzles, support the Puzzle Potatoes Kickstarter campaign. Mr. Puzzle solved this puzzle in his video yesterday and I'm gonna solve this anti-gravity device puzzle right now. I already love this puzzle because of its unusual look. It's not a cube. Oh, that's interesting. It has a magnet right here. Uh, why it is here and when I can use it, I don't know have to find a place where I have to start solving it. Oh, there is some kind of a handle here. Probably if I remove one of these plastic parts, I will be able to rotate this piece. And, oh, there is an arrow on this piece. I don't know if you can, oh, you can see it right, right now. There is an arrow. Let's see if there are other arrows. There is another one here. There is another one here. Oh, I guess. There are arrows only on these three parts, but there are no arrows on the other three parts. They move so easily. It looks like there is a, just a small lock and I have to find it. Oh, by the way, there is a lock and unlock and here lock and unlock. Oh, they're spring loaded. Okay, maybe that is the first. Yeah, the first one is out. Let's find how to remove the second one. Okay, let's see. We have a small metal ball here. And I guess I have to reorganize these parts somehow. Ooh, huh. that's quite interesting. There is a wooden piece. I didn't notice it at the very beginning. It goes with the acrylic piece and it shows an arrow up. And when you push it up, there is a small wooden part next to the metal ball. It goes down and you can move the ball. That's quite interesting. Now I have to do something with the parts here. I have to reorganize them. I guess in such a way that I will be able to move the ball right here. Wait! <laughs> Why? How, how does it happen? I was just gently tapping the... <gasps> okay, maybe I have to use it for the ball. <laughs> That's interesting. And I, I can I can move these wooden parts with the ball. Okay, that has more sense than just hitting the box. Okay, that looks good. Now I put it here, but the plastic parts, they don't allow you to do it as you want to do it easily. Wait a second. Yeah, that's not easy. This goes here. But then this piece is not easy. Oh, okay. I have to use this part again so that I put that tiny wooden piece down. And now I can probably move this part. Okay. This goes up. And what's next? I can almost put the ball down here. Oh, this piece can go one more step. And the ball almost can go all the way down. Oh, now the piece is down and the ball is here. Okay. And here we have two wooden gears with symbols on them. And I think that I have to put them in a correct position so that I will be able to remove this part. Okay. Where I can find these symbols on... Oh, maybe there is a symbol here, here and here on top. Maybe if I put them together, it's a circle, two triangles, and this part, it looks like I have to rotate the top part right here to this symbol. And now something with the bottom part. Oh, I found, I found it. It is another symbol that uses all three of these. Yay! Okay, this part is released. What's next? I have some notes here. Why? I don't know. Oh, okay. The, this uh, part released another acrylic piece. 
I'm wondering if they are all the same or I have to be careful and not mix them. Yeah, they are the same. So I can use any of them when I assemble everything back. Okay, where is the last one? The last one with an arrow is right here. I don't know what are the notes for, but probably I will need them a little bit later. Now I have to do something here. Okay, the handle has a cutout that I can put on these symbols, but how to find which one is the correct one. And this part has an arrow. Probably I have to pull it out at some point. Oh, there is a small engravement of lips and a note. Do I have to sing? <laughs> or do I have to blow inside this? There are three holes. Maybe I have to find where three of these symbols go in line, like this one, then apple, then this one. I have to put them like one, two, three, and blow in these holes. Okay, let's start with this one. <laughs> wow, it makes sound. Okay, let's do another one. Yeah, the second one isn't as nice, and the third one. Okay, but I don't think it helps me to open it. And I'm not so good in music so that I can sing these notes. Okay, but how to open it? I guess I have to do something on this side to release this part first. What do we have here? Pyramid here, here and here. Metal balls inside, maybe. I can, oh, I can use the magnet to move them to another symbol. But which symbols do I have to use? I guess I can find them here. So let's let's see. The first one, we will start with this pyramid. There is engravement of this pyramid here and the line goes down here to this square. But then there is a square on the right. There is a circle on the left. Which one do I have to follow? There are no any... Inf oh, maybe I have to... Maybe I have to use this part. Let's see. There are circles there are squares and i guess if i align them something like so what it shows me that it will go to the middle okay let's start with the empty pyramid it goes right here then if i put this piece here it shows me that i can move to any of two squares if i move to the middle one it goes here if i move to this one it goes here Okay, but if I go here and then I put this piece, it doesn't have any leads. Okay, and if I put it here, it goes all the way right here. Okay, so maybe the empty pyramid, the this part will be, yeah, this is correct. Then the full pyramid with the bricks. If I put it here, there are two options. The first one is in the middle and it will be this. Yeah, it is correct. And the second option, it will bring me right here. Second one will be an eye. I have to put the ball to an eye. Okay, and the last one, pyramid with some of the bricks. It goes down here we put two squares three squares here if i use the top square it goes here but if i use the middle square it goes around and then it goes to an eye okay maybe this is correct but that doesn't work what according to my logic everything looks correct but i still can't remove the part maybe i have to force it a little bit no i don't know i try to randomly mix some of oh okay i it was a mistake with the empty one now i have to deal with this part okay maybe i just have to blow more in each and every hole Oh, my neighbors will enjoy this song. Oh, it opens. It opens. 
Not all the way, but it opens. Oh, done. Oh, that's an intricate lock. I don't know how it works. Oh, it rotates like all four parts. And to align them, you have to figure out the correct sequence. Okay, so the, the whistling is not actually a thing here. <laughs> I was trying to sing a song, but actually it's just a little bit of fun. I don't think it unlocks anything. The actual thing is to... Oh, there is a sequence here. Wait a second, where is it? There is a sequence here. And I guess I have to figure out which is high note, which is low note. And then starting from the low one, go to correct notes and find the correct sequence. And then all parts will be aligned and I will be able to open the lock. Ooh, that is that is a difficult part. Actually, I solved it just completely random, but now I know how it works. What do we have inside? It says Puzzle Potato and the website puzzlepotato.com. Also, we have some kind of a small puzzle here. Let's try to solve it. I guess it will be some kind of a stand for the puzzle. Let's see. Yeah, it is a stand. There is a small instruction how to make it. Oh, it will be one of those stands which works on a ropes. Ah, okay. I saw a lot of videos online with this kind of, I don't know, what is it? Some people show it as a, as a small table or even a chair. I always wanted to try to build one. And here I have this thing that I can build myself. The next step will be to assemble the puzzle back and put it on this beautiful stand. Okay, now when it is assembled, it looks like I have to put it on a stand. That was the anti-gravity device puzzle, a new puzzle from a puzzle brand that is called Puzzle Potato. If you like this puzzle or you want to try the other puzzle that is called Philosopher's Stone, support the Kickstarter campaign, link will be in the video description. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.